Announcement today from Metro about those fair evaders. The transit agency says it's about to start a crackdown to make sure everybody is paying their fair share. Our transportation reporter Adam Tuss has been following all the details from Metro headquarters tonight. Metro's relatively new general manager says he has seen enough already. He's ready to cut down on this kind of fare evasion. I do believe we have to have orderliness in a system because those are the rules. And if we don't have any rules, what kind of society do we have? Please pay your fare before riding. This is the message riders will be getting on station screens and through flyers over the next couple of weeks. Then starting in November, Metro Transit Police will be out in force, handing out citations all across the system. The fine for fare evasion is $50 in the district, 100 bucks in Maryland and Virginia. And some riders are cautiously optimistic. Hadassah Lightborn says there are a lot of layers to this conversation, like cost. I think it's a great idea to, to really make sure people aren't taking advantage, but everything's too expensive. And here's the thing. Metro's general manager is telling us he basically knows he's not going to win on this issue. There are some people who are going to be for it and a lot of people who are going to be against it. Well, I'm going to have people, I guarantee, tweet me today and go, boat time, law and order. And then I'm going to have some other people tweet at me and say, you're being horrible and you don't care about people. Now, Clark says he estimates Metro's losing $40 million a year because of fare evasion. And he says that will have an impact on the region when it comes time to balance Metro's budget. Rider Ali Mohammed supporting this effort by the general manager to cut down on fair evaders. It's not right. If everybody else has to pay and they don't. A Metro didn't give specific locations where officers will be targeting first, rather saying they'll be looking at data to be at the locations that have the most fair evasion at different times of the day. At Metro headquarters, Adam Tuss, News 4.